Hi, Vinas. This is Dr. Srikanth from Team INBD Conquer. Now I am here to discuss one short important topic. Okay. So the word CPP, ACP is now very familiar, most commonly seen in the examination. So the full form of CPP, ACP is casein phosphopeptide amorphous calcium phosphate. Okay. So uh this is a basically a milk derived protein okay you can see casein which is a milk derived protein okay so this cpp acp is now common in many ingredients okay one is like you can see this in the toothpaste okay as a paste form you can see in the chewing gum forms that is trident or recaldent because again recaldent is the most commonly word that is used in the examination hall okay this is again present in mi paste okay so it is present in the mi paste also so it is uh like it is it is in combination used with composites it is in combination used with many other new advanced uh, uh restorative material also okay so these material are called as a smart material so basically what is this uh casein phosphopeptide amorphous calcium phosphate if you go in detail the very important things that you have to make a note it is basically derived from protein okay so the wording is very very important it is basically derived from pro protein and it is a nanotechnology related protein okay so it is a nanotechnology related protein and it is developed from the university of melbourne okay so these are very commonly asked questions which is developed from the university of melbourne okay so as already discussed it is a protein but it is derived from the milk you can underline the word casein casein phosphopeptide is a one that is derived from the milk protein so proteins will always have an ammonia acid sequence okay so again ammonia acid sequence can be most commonly asked question the ammonia acid sequence in this is sir 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 and glute glute okay so sir sir you have three sets and two glutes that is you, they can call it as pp p and glute glute okay so this is an ammonia acid sequence of this casein amorphous calcium phosphate okay so uh, as already discussed it is most commonly used in many many areas so if you just normally take a dental uh, structure for example a, sim a simple uh, dental structure like a teeth okay so the teeth is surrounded by saliva in the oral cavity and saliva has a, a, a normal ph of around like seven okay sometimes it's like 6.7 to 7.2 is the ph so what happens whenever you have you know, the bacteria and everything are added the ph of saliva is going to drop down and it's going to hit 5.2 to 5.5 which you can consider it as in a critical ph critical ph of saliva most commonly asked question what is the critical ph critical ph is 5.2 to 5.5 so whenever it hit hit hit, hit it, it hits the critical ph what is going to happen it's very simple like the uh, the enamel starts demineralizing demineralization of enamel starts okay so after again again after sometimes the critical ph may goes up and the ph may hits like this then again what happens is remineralization occur what is lost is going to come back so so this remineralization and demineralization cycle they moves around a particular value that particular value is critical ph so remineralization occurs from the things which are present in the saliva so what is the extra advantage of adding this uh, cpp acp is very simple like around the teeth the cpp acp this casein amorphous calcium phosphate is going to form an error okay so in this you will have more in this you will have more calcium and phosphorus when compared to a normal saliva so you'll have more availability of these calcium and phosphorus in this particular leak around the crown so the chances of remineralization chances of remineralization uh, remineralization will be high when this particular cpp acp isn't used and that is the main reason why this particular agent is being added nowadays to the composite also so whenever you have a composite which contains cpp acp whenever there is a critical ph that is hitting you have you will have demineralization so this cpp acp that is present in the composite is going to release into the oral cavity and by which the 
remineralization chances will be increased okay i hope you are very clear with this cpp acp this is becoming a most commonly used term in the recent examinations of integrated INBD okay so this is very very important for all the entrance examinations okay this is a new thing okay a new thing an advanced thing that is going to uh, that's a, that's as of now available in the market but uh, may not be covered in the most of the MCQ books and textbooks so please do make a note about this CPP ACP okay so you have some few things like you have you can see MI based here you can see GC MI based here GC tooth mousey again tooth mousey is an important uh, area where CPP ACP so they can sometimes they can ask this plus sometimes you can see MI placed this is MI paste plus this is C uh, tooth mousey again then they can ask tooth mousey plus okay plus is nothing but added fluorides in it regularly cpp acp is a normal thing if you have cpp acp agent plus means you'll have extra fluorides in it i hope you are very clear about this particular content stay tuned to the group if you like this video please do hit a like okay and if you have any doubts or if you if you feel like some more content has to be added or some more uh, information has to be shared please do drop your comments on the comment box okay so we have collected few recent advanced rqs in, in the last one to two months and we have planned to decide a number of videos on this like if you if you know further rqs you can drop it on uh, the comment box and we are ready to help you out signing off dr srikanth from team I am Vidi Ponkar. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. Oh, will it?